<laughs> right, hello folks. I was getting rid of some videos out of uh, out of the laptop here. Um, just because I don't need half of them. And I'm coming to the foodie file. <laughs> the foodie files. Ding, ding, ding. And uh, I, I found her very first well, it's a very second video that's still up um, from way, way back, like five years ago. And this is from Boxing Day. Um, just look at, look at, look at what's happened here. How have we ended up here? Freaking cute, though. It's just me. Is it just me? Or you say hi. Oh, look, when she liked BBJ. When she was taking care of herself and the cat. Hey, guys. Me here. Oh god, it's lush. Some things don't change, right? <laughs> so I just got back from shopping mm -hmm. on Boxing Day. Yay. And the malls were actually not as bad as I thought they were going to be, which is good because I hate crowded malls. They give me anxiety. Oh god, chip it in there. So I went to Lush and I went to Pier 1. I only hit up two stores. And I did quite a bit of damage just at those two stores alone. So first up... Right, okay, so at this point she hasn't got a job. She's been fired from her job in the hospital as a receptionist or whatever it was. Um, but BB's working. So money's just, they're like a normal normal young couple at this stage. Like money's money's not flying everywhere. You know, money, they're budgeting. So she, I'm interested to see as to sort of like the damage that she's caused in her wallet here compared with what she throws in the bin now and doesn't care about and gives away to randos. Is my Lush haul. Mm -hmm. I like the purple bag. Tiny. <laughs> and at Lush, I spent a total of $74.47. Okay, so she's a normal person. Normal person at this stage, seventy four dollars. Well, I went I went to Boots the other day, I needed some more makeup and um not tons of it, really, just like three items. Um sixty odd quid it came to. I was like, Man, that's expensive. That's really expensive. Um I needed it. Well I didn't need it, I wasn't gonna die without it, but you know, I'd run out. Um but she's a normal person here. Yeah, $76 is probably about 50-odd quid, 55 quid back then in Canadian to English. Yeah, well, that's a lot, 50 quid in, in Lush. And today, um, as I do every year, Lush is having their buy one, get one free sale. Uh, some items are 50%. Oh, that's me in Holland and Barrett when they have the penny sale. <laughs> it's all a big scam, isn't it? Because they're always having a penny sale every now and then. So it just goes to show the rest of the year you get ripped off. Percent off, but I went with the buy one get one free and kind of boring this year, guys. But I only bought some shower gels. That's what, what I needed. Seventy six bucks on shower gel. Are you crazy, lady? And I thought I'd stock up, and yeah, buying two shower gels was seventy four dollars. My God. Uh, look at her now, though. That's not even one day's of takeaway. I got two rose jams, two bottles of these. They're not even that big. $76? She insane. <laughs> one Lord of Misrule. And one Bubbly. So I have four bottles, so hopefully that will last me mm -hmm. a little while. It's just um, me... My boyfriend and I using those shower gels. That would have to be a year supply. I'm very excited about my Pier what? One. I don't know what Pier One is. What is Pier One? Ooh, we're going to find out. I'm excited. Pier One. See, look, this is when she was like nice ish. It didn't last long, but you know. All of their Christmas stuff was 50% off. Mm -hmm. And they have some really nice stuff. I don't know if you all shop at Pier 1 Imports for your, you know, home decorations and things like that. They have dinnerware, just really f nice, fancy home stuff. And I love it. I'm obsessed. <laughs> 
So first item I got was this um, reed diffuser. I've never had one. In Hang on, I think I have been in a Pier 1 or somewhere very similar. I think they might have this over in Turkey in the um, outside shopping malls. Is that called Pier 1? Oh, I can't remember. Please. Similar. This is the um, Snow Birch scented. I can't really explain the scent and I can't really smell through the package, but oh, it's kind of like a nice um, light, light floral, um, fresh, crisp, clean smell. So smells like snow. <laughs> I'm going to put this in my bathroom. I think I have my bill. Yes, well, it probably needs it. Yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. So at Pier 1, I spent $53.99. Really think that's really good for Pier 1 because... Okay, Boxing Day sales, she spent $140. Like a normal person. Like, that's normal person spending. She does this in food. In a day. You can do quite a lot of damage there. Anyone who shopped there, gone into a store and browsed around knows what I mean. And they gave me a coupon for January, which I probably won't be going back. But <laughs> I only ever buy their clearance items there. Yep. I got a peppermint room spray, which was regular $10.95. I'm going to tell you what the regular. So everything was 50% off that I got here in this haul. So this diffuser was regular $23.95. $23. .95, $23. And this was like 10 something. So their items are quite pricey. So 50% off is great. It's probably what you should be paying for them. The items. But this. Yeah, it I might kind of forget kind what of I got. So it's kind of like Christmas for me right now. Whoa. So I picked up. I'm needing some more candles for my, like, pillar candles for my candle holders from there. Okay. That I got at Pier 1 on sale. So this is... Hmm. Holiday Spice. These were $14.95 each for each candle. Half price, of course. So that the regular price was $14.95. They smell kind of like a mixture of um, cinnamon and cologne. A weird smell. But I like the color. And yeah, I do that. I buy the Christmas candles, the scented Christmas candles, and the house pretty much smells like Christmas <laughs> until, until springtime, because they are always half price. Yes, they are. Um, not that I have a ton of candles in the house, but sometimes I do, um, and I'll be stingy. And, um, yeah. Next item. Okay, what else did you get? This is just something small, but I just picked up a little bottle yeah. of um, like incense oil, fragrance oil for my oil burner. And this is apple crisp. I love the smell of apples, like apple cinnamon kind of smell. So it looks like this is the last item I picked up and my Boy, cat is going to love this paper. Don't mind the mess in the background, like. <laughs> the mess in the background, my god, that is so tidy. The after Christmas. God, things changed, didn't they? She went down the pan after B2B, big, big style. What a shame. This mess. It'll get cleaned up eventually. So this is a... Is that another damn candle? Sugar plum scented candle. Oh my god. Isn't that pretty? It's so sophisticated. Like it's just got this... <laughs> it's the aesthetics. It's the aesthetics. It's so sophisticated. It's like nice like faded silver into gold. There's my cat. There's paper for you here. <laughs> if you ever hear me talking weird to my cat total disclaimer but yeah i'm i'm a total crazy cat lady and that's how i talk to her all the time people think i'm weird 
Like, really. oh, that got worse, didn't it? That got a hell of a lot worse over the years, to the point that you just screech and yell at them now. Really, legit think I'm weird. Um, oh, has like a sweet smell, and this was regular. Anyway, you get you get the thing. So. There was a whole load of nonsense in between this. Um, I think we'll, I, I'm going to pull up some of the old um, Halloween ones from over the years, um, unless she's deleted them because she's been having a purge of her um, <laughs> of her channel again. I guess it's because of the new man. Um, so I couldn't be doing with the Nad's phase. Not all of it. I can't stand him. Can't stand to look at him. Um, but he might be in this one. This is, um, so we've had a whole breakup with BB, the luxury villa, all the excitement of that and all the rest of it. We've uh, sort of been through our relationship with Nads here. Police reports, not police reports. Um, you know, it's all gone down at this stage. So, so we were here. The very second video that is on our channel. We were here and then... We got to, now I could have got these in the wrong order, but it doesn't really matter. We've got CD Hotel Bees up next. So we went from that to this. And to be honest, I, I've pulled these little clips up just because I couldn't be doing hours and hours of it. Oh my god, I remember this. This is when she was hopping over the things and he was videoing her. Ah, oh, he's bound to be in here. It's very, very short, this. <laughs> oh my god. not that interesting that is it anyway here we go right sleazy hotel lovely hey i'm about to do a hotel tour but there's no ac working so i'm sweating buckets here i gotta clean off my lens periodically so this is probably the weirdest hotel room i've ever stayed in in my life and uh but it was oh, no this isn't the one with this it's chair is it oh i think it might be didn't even know what it was Okay, hey, like God. I said, the only thing I care about when I'm really tired and I, I'm beezing in Montreal and I just want to sleep, Ugh. a clean bed. Nad's shadow. Ugh. And a friggin' toilet that I can destroy is all I care about. Ugh. Why speak like that? Oh, so let's do this room tour. <laughs> There's fire instructions that look like they were from whenever. They look like they've been set on fire. Oh no, is that water damage? Probably because it's so humid in there because there's no air conditioning. You had to use a bucket and a hose, like an, <laughs> a bucket and a cup to Sir, pour. Thank you, I have wind here. <laughs> this is the outside. What a dumb hotel. Like and then there's like this door here. There's a door here. What a dumb! To come into your room. Ugh. Hi. Ugh. And there's this. What the hell? This, this thing is still disturbed me. What is? This? Exercise. Is it? I'm not sure if this is for exercise or for sex. Like, what is it? Everything for sex, for you. <laughs> well, I mean, it just looks like a heart, no, kind it's of. For exercise. <laughs> Let's see if I can use it. What do you think? Yeah, you can jump in. Here. So if you go like this, maybe. What the hell? Like oh, I've forgotten how bad this was. No, don't. Yes. Oh my yeah. god. Exercise. Uh. Bitch. <laughs> Make that food with your bitch. Make it. Oh. What yeah. is this for? For break time, like what you do now. This is break. <laughs> you train after you break like this. 
Whoa! Oh! Oh! oh. See? This is deep. Because you take long break. Where does the stuff go? <laughs> we have a TV that also... I can't figure it out. This is just leftovers of a... This is a, a binge. Last night I binged. And... Clean bed though, eh? Mm -hmm. Clean bed. It sounds like it, huh? Yeah. Was clean. This thing doesn't even... I mean, I had it on. I turned it off because it's loud. It doesn't work. My God, that thing will be spitting out Legionnaire's disease at you. <laughs> and then we have some truckers here. Oh, it's a CD truck stop motel. It's a by the hour place. Got getting a free show when I was changing. Drink Coke. And then we have Natter cleaning because he's considerate. No, we usually clean up the mess. I don't like to keep it too messy. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, there's bathroom paper on the floor. <laughs> and a drink cup in there. <laughs> You're more ashamed of filth than me. And then you get a little package of shampoo, I think. These little soaps. <gasps> Did she even fit in that shower? Look how teeny weeny it is. Little soaps and big butts don't mix. Clean shower. Clean, clean, like I said, clean. Old, no problem. Clean is all I care about. Yeah, right. But I know Lambo could never. <laughs> this. Are you gonna eat this? I can't do it. I will. Stay Wait. tuned. Oh god, we're gonna do a challenge. I'm gonna eat the the grasshoppers. I can't eat a bug that looks like a whole bug. Is Look it, at the stomach, it's full of guts. I'm not doing it. Bug. Scorpion. <laughs> yeah, but scorpions are their insects. Mm. I can't watch him anymore. Right, so anyway, and then we went to this. Or this was before this, either or. Either or. Pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Someone told me that she's on a children's karaoke battery operated microphone. She love me. Come on, baby, come and show me. I'm so broken and lonely. The heartbreak era, Chantel and Nadir. All the time, he was with Dee Dee, and she knew it. Only I'd do anything for you. Well, you have, haven't you? I mean, I'm not too sure that you're not running off with him into the sunset. Is he being deported? Who knows? Baby, it's so easy to change me. All you have to do is clean me. Love me, touch me, bend and break me. I just want to be with you. But you, baby, you don't love me. All you want to do is train me. You make me so tired and you drain me. I swear I'm leaving you. To be continued. Yeah, that was her song, Pathetic. <laughs> then what did we have? Just, just, just this week, I think. Or the very uh, latter part of last week. Then we had this. I, I mean, we had a load of shit in between, but it went on hours and hours. I ain't got time for that. And I haven't got the energy for it. Then we had... Yay! She won't be allowed to wear that dress anymore, will she? She spent a lot of money on that dress as well. Oh, what we're going to have? Museums, culture, dating, food, new beginnings. That didn't last long. So that was that. We had a load more shenanigans in between. And then, I mean, we've watched this. We're not going to watch it all. And then we've ended up here. Just want to say, I don't expect people to understand my journey here. right now. We've ended up here. 
how have we gone from Boxing Day normal person to everything that we've seen the last two years with her and Nads to this? What the hell has gone on? I mean, what the hell has gone on? Baffles me. Anyway, we've seen this. Um, no more live streams. I think she's gone away with Nads for the weekend. I honestly do. Um, and I think she'll be back on Monday. Um, she's lost at least 100 subs, which I believe are probably not just subs. They're probably members. She's probably like lost 100 members because what's the point of paying your $8 a month or whatever it is if you get nothing for it? And she's also, there was um, content on their members only videos. Um, pretty much all of them have been taken down, all but a few that are now like over a year old. Um, that's changed. So, yeah, it's um, really goddamn weird what's going on here. This could be her biggest troll yet, um, and it's likely to be her least successful one in the long run. So, anyway, I think we might go back through Halloween's of yesteryear. Cheese Graveyard being the highlight. <laughs> we'll have to have a look. Oh, right, anyway. Um, yep. What's gone on? We're never going to know, are we? Let's get rid of her. Where'd she go? Hang on. Where's that video? Where'd she go? There she goes. Bye-bye. Bye, foodie. Um, she may be back. She may not. Who knows? Um, she's going to be an awful lot easier to keep up with her. If she's just doing 10, 15 minutes. She'll, she'll make them over eight minutes because that's kind of like the AdSense. Um, it's going to be easier to keep up with her. But she's not going to have anything to say. Because half of the things that are funny actually come from her members and her VIBs in the chat that she reacts to or reads out. Um, on her own, with this grown-up, wannabe grown-up content, it's going to go nowhere. No one's going to watch it. We don't need life tips from Chantel any more than you guys need life tips from me. I mean, come on, man. No one needs it. So, anyway, that's that. You look after yourselves. Um, well, I've got some stuff to do. So, let's get on with it, shall we? Putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. <laughs> right, anyway, look after yourselves. Much love to you and yours. Bye.